technically, this video is not a refutation of atheism, but of its most popular form, called metaphysical naturalism. This is the view that the physical world is all that there is, was, or ever will be. Under this view, supernatural entities like God and angels do not exist. Now, one problem with this view in its simplest terms is that it flies directly in the face of our best established scientific laws. Thermodynamics is such a well-established field of science that it is practically considered a closed field. No new discoveries are expected that could potentially upset the laws of thermodynamics. This is different than something like genetics or evolutionary biology. By comparison, extraordinarily speculative as they are only somewhat understood and scientists are looking to understand them further. Now think of the first two laws of thermodynamics. The first law states, the total energy of an isolated system is constant. Energy can be transformed from one form to another, but cannot be created or destroyed. The second law states that the entropy of an isolated system never decreases. This is to say that an isolated system will always wind down and never wind back up. All energy will go from usable energy to unusable energy, and the process is irreversible. If either of these two laws were false, then perpetual motion machines could exist. Good luck telling any scientist about your plans to build a perpetual motion machine. But if naturalism is true, then the physical world as a whole is an isolated system. This means that energy cannot be created, and yet as time goes on, it is irreversibly being turned into unusable energy. The question then becomes, why then is there usable energy in the first place? It either came into existence, or it always existed. If it came into existence, then that would violate the first law of thermodynamics. If it always existed, the usable energy would have been exhausted by now. Now, the atheist has no recourse to this. With a theistic system, however, the problem disappears. We can define the laws of physics not as these inviolable laws, by definition, but as descriptions of how a physical system operates when left to its own devices. With a supernatural entity like God, we have an explanation either for an eternal universe or for a beginning of the physical world. Atheists have no explanation. Or perhaps they do, but the explanations tend to be long in speculation and short in evidence. Either that, or they alter their vocabulary to define the problem out of existence. Shalom Aleichem.